Topping the newscast tonight, Chief Justice Ivor Archie delivered several rulings in the Port of Spain Appeal Court today. Among them, a 40-year sentence for Lester Pittman, who threatened to sue the state following a four-year delay in delivering judgment in his appeal. After handing down that ruling, the Chief Justice defended the judiciary's efficiency. Peter Christopher has more. It was judgment day for several in the Court of Appeal as Chief Justice Ivor Archie delivered a slew of rulings today. Key among them, a 40-year sentence for Lester Pittman, who had been convicted in 2004 of the murders of agriculturist John Cropper, his mother Maggie, and former BBC correspondent Lynette Litko Pearson in Cascade. Pittman threatened legal action against the Chief Justice for his failure to deliver a ruling in his appeal case, which he claimed was three years overdue. Today, the CJ overturned the death sentence initially meted out, but instead ruled that while Pittman will be released from prison, he will serve no less than 40 years. Pittman's mother left the court a short while after the ruling was handed out, but avoided reporters. Following the ruling, the CJ delivered a statement defending the length of time it took to deliver the ruling. The CJ said the delay in this case was far from the norm as recent media attention suggested. He said the issue of delays was not discovered just three weeks ago. This has always been a priority and has been engaging the judiciary and its stakeholders quite actively for several years. Indeed, he said, this was a major topic for discussion when he met with the Law Association of Trinidad and Tobago on November 13, 2013. The CJ also raised questions about the pre-action letter delivered, adding... At a time when the court had indicated that judgment would be delivered before the end of the year, communication to the court from someone who is not an attorney on record in the matter was published. He said it is not the normal practice for the court to communicate with persons other than the litigants or their attorneys of record concerning pending matters. And if an attorney wishes to seek an appellant's interest in a matter before the court, then one should expect the normal courtesies to be observed. The CJ said 500 cases are heard in the appeal court annually and broke down the number of judgments outstanding for over a year. He said, as of November 30, 2013, there were 19 reserved judgments outstanding for more than one year and 18 reserved during the course of this calendar year. Of the 19, two had to be rescheduled because of the untimely passing of one of our brethren. So, he said, it turns out that about 6% of the civil matters, 4% of the total, have taken more than a year for delivery of judgment. The CJ said the judiciary is committed to reducing the number of outstanding cases in the appeal court down to zero by July 2014.